Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a wine today that's uh, all the way from Chile, uh, from the Colchagua Valley, a Pinot Noir, uh, Cinco Manos, a Pinot Noir Val de Colchagua, made for Lathwaite's by the uh, by Casa Silva. Uh, now Casa Silva, where there are where their Pinot Noir vineyards are in, in Colchagua, it's right at the uh, Pacific end, so it's 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 not hot bit of the Colchagua. It's the uh, very much the uh, influenced by the the cool Pacific Ocean. Uh, and they have one there called Cool Coast. Uh, I don't know whether it's the same wine under a different label, but um, uh, I, I've, I've en I think I've enjoyed that wine in the past. I've certainly enjoyed some under that label, although, oh, I can't remember. But anyway, I, I, you'll be able to check back from my uh, previous spoutings on the wine and uh, uh, find out what I thought. Uh, let's give this one a whirl. There's a gentle, juicy, warm cherry and berry and plum allure. Uh, there's a little bit of an imprint of uh, vanilla stroke toasty oak um, and it smells, uh, yes it smells like it's going to be on that uh, generously fruited end of Pinot Noir but it's not gone over the top into jamminess or anything like that. When I come to taste it, um, I have a problem that I have with uh, quite a few um, Chilean wines, um, a little bit too much reduction and also um, I mean, I, I noticed on the back it said 70% um, uh, of the wine has been aged for four months in oak barrels. When I see four months in oak barrels, um, there's, a, there's a bit of me that sort of goes... Yeah, what I'd like them to do uh, would be to age it uh, for longer uh, in older barrels. Uh, and then you get the rounding out flavour. And it, it, the weird thing is that in, in terms of extracting flavour from the barrels, it does it all in the first few months. So you've got the oak flavour in there, but you're not benefiting from the élevage, the softening. And I think if you had left it in there for a little bit longer, kept an eye on it, and maybe let a little bit of air in there as it was uh, uh, as it was maturing, you'd have a little less of that um, of that reduction. That slightly uh, no, rubber is the wrong word, but. Um, yeah, just this, the, the, the fruit feels like it needs to loosen up a little bit. Um, and maybe that would come with a little bit of time uh, aeration. So I'll keep an eye on it and uh, if it gets significantly better, I will report back. Uh, but at the moment, the verdict is uh, good, but not great. See you soon.